We hope you enjoyed coming with us on a road trip across the country, but it's time for us to get back on the water. Over the next few weeks, we are going to bring you with us as we sail, explore, and enjoy getting back to boat life in the San Juan Islands. These videos are made possible by San Juan Sailing, our amazing patrons, and you. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. So we're just looking over the chart here. Our goal's right here at Susha Island, and we're over here. So we're just, uh, one of the things the charter wants to do is what do they call it, fingertip navigation? To literally take out a chart, put your finger where you're gonna go, and just follow along just to see what your op obstacles are along the way. Our only question was uh, if we had to hit this buoy here, and we don't, we just gotta stay well off this point of Point Francis. Cool, let's go to Susha Island. Here's where we are right now. We want to go all the way to right here. So this is going to be our first time sailing a sea wind solo, your first time captaining. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The engines are on, they've been warming up, and uh, so, they're so much quieter than our two GMs that we had on Adrenaline, just because they're, they're three YMs, newer engines and three cylinders instead of two. Just making sure I'm familiar with everything at the helm station here, and it's all pretty straightforward. We got our iPad here just because, I mean, we got our uh, Raymarine Nav chart plotter here. We're just super used to this, so I'm just going to keep this here just in case. We have Navionics on here, that's, that's all we know, so like... Just in case, I can always refer back to that. But we're gonna try to use the onboard chart plotter. And obviously, like it's, it has AIS and all, a whole bunch of features, including a mass camera. So that'll be fun to use, like when we pick up moorings and stuff. The number one thing you have to be worried about around here is rocks. There are lots and lots of rocks around here. On Navionics, where we are, like you'll see like these r little red dots, but they usually like don't mean anything. They're usually deep enough, and it's like whatever. But here, if you see a little red dot. Ooh, you gotta be paying attention. You got lines, I'll get help. Come here, Tess. Too easy. Working with about 13 to 14 knots of wind. And how fast are we going? 
going like five knots. Still learning everything because something's off here. Apparent wind speed and true wind speed are the same, so it's not taking into effect our boat speed for some reason. So we gotta take everything in the grain of salt until I really get this thing wired. In a little bit, we probably don't have much right now, but in a little bit we'll have some current helping us along. Right, because isn't that what this is telling us? Yeah. It's almost slack. Okay, but with that speed and that distance, and it getting dark at about, what, five o'clock these days? We're gonna have to turn on the engines. I know it hurts, but we don't know these waters and we gotta be there before dark. All right, should we tack? Anti-climatic tacking <laughs> with our self-tacking jib. Here we go, tacking. This little cart got stuck. No big deal. It's just because there's not a lot of wind out there. Not enough wind to push it over. It's calm. It's sunny. It's beautiful. We could not have asked for a better very first sail. And the views are like gorgeous. Yeah, it, it is really nice. Like it's a little cool, but it's sunny out. You're right. Perfect wind to just get acquainted with the boat and get back on the water. So a lot of people that I talked to said that Susha, which is the place that we're going to first, might be one of our very favorite places because there's lots of hiking and like cliffs and cool views. We're making our way there. We're about 15 miles. Um, we started late today just because we had to unpack a lot of stuff since it was raining pouring yesterday we didn't want to bring all of our camera gear so that happened this morning and then we had to get all of our boards and everything but a late start but that is a-okay because we are on our way okay we're about to come to our first point to be aware of which is all of the red marks that they have marked on this chart but it is this area right here we just have to make sure we're far enough away from this coast because there's a bunch of rocks. We have to avoid that rock. And they say we don't have to hit this marker, but we can come right through there. That's why you have to be careful of navi Navionics like planned routes because if you go follow that planned route, it'll take you a little bit too close to that island. We're slowing down a little bit. We got some dead a dead spot up here. We're about to be shadowed by this big island in front of us anyway. Baker Reservoir? Baker Reserve? I don't know. And it's getting late and again dark. And Sierra wants to turn the engines on to get there before dark, which is probably a good idea. So still sailing though. Press the dang button. Maybe he doesn't like this button. One engine on. How pretty. It's so nice. Also, I highly suggest everybody investing in a Polaroid camera. Because these photos are the best. This is the one we used. Billy got it for me for Christmas last year. Okay, if I could describe the feeling right now in one word, it would be dreamy. Like the views are dreamy, the water's dreamy, the lighting in the clouds is dreamy. It's just beautiful.
The sun just got hidden by the clouds and it got cold real quick. <laughs> what are you thinking? All right, Susia, our anchorage is right over there. And the wind's kind of dead. We're gonna drop the main. Uh, yeah, go ahead, turn up into the wind. I guess we don't even need, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even need to go up to the mast. <laughs> Okay, one of our favorite things to do ever when we get to a new spot. Go to the beach! Oh! <laughs> Is to go in the dinghy, explore, and walk Jetty around on the beach. So that's what we're gonna do. Ready, go! Show me your moves! Show me your moves! <laughs> Ready? This whole area, Jetty's room! The Jetty Den! We got her food down there, her food bowls, her water, and um, her food in this little cubby. And then uh, back there, we're not using such a storage for a surfboard. Maybe later. On the menu tonight, we are going to have Hawaiian pizza with pineapple and ham. And we're gonna make it in this little oven. And look at our view as we cook. How pretty. Okay, when I was exploring in all of the cabinets, I just happened upon an entire game box. Because on boats, you don't watch TV. You have quality time together and play games. 
So we're gonna play pick up sticks. <laughs> Which might be challenging on a moving boat. <laughs> it's a calm anchorage, but we are still rocking a little bit. Okay. Well, here we go. Black is worth 20, red is 10, yellow is 5, blue is 3, and green is 2. Okay. You want to get the most points. Okay, if you move a stick, you don't get to keep the stick and you lose your turn. So you can pick it up. Okay. Go ahead. You go first. Oh, you moved it! You totally moved it! <laughs> We are on our final two sticks. Ah, you moved it. Ooh, yeah. Thank you. Doesn't mean you won, though. All right, we got to add them up. Sarah got the black stick, which is worth 20 points, and I got a lot of other ones. What'd you get? 78. <laughs> 123, baby! <laughs> we gotta get back used to using a boat oven because they are a little funky and our pizza did not come out as I was planning, but she will do. Mm -hmm. 